Good morning, once more family. Um, I'm doing a little housekeeping here. When um, I started on um, January 1st on YouTube, and I <laughs> kind of totally spazzed out. I couldn't believe I was here in this forum. So from after I did the January 1st reading, I didn't do any more readings on YouTube until January the 16th. So um, this is a little catch-up day. So I've already uploaded January the 2nd, I think it was sometime last month or maybe even in September. So today I am going to read January the 3rd and the 4th. That's one of those quirks, you know, we all have quirks. And so uh, it's a two-part reading. It's called God Wants, What God Wants for the New Year, Part 1 and Part 2. So I'm actually going to read both of them um, today. They were written by Pramila Pettiputi, okay? So before I begin, um, Lord, may the readings uh, be just what we need to hear whenever it's listened to. Release your blessing and healing upon it, O oh God, and thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to uh, be able to go back and to do the readings that um, were missed at the onset of this YouTube journey. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. January the 3rd, What God Wants for the New Year, Part 1. The scripture is Micah 6, 8. It says, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Amen. It starts off. A question recently came to my mind. What can I give to Jesus in this new year? If I were going to give Jesus a gift, what could I give him that he would appreciate? After all, he is the creator of all things, Hebrews 1 verse 2, and the one who holds all things together, Colossians 1 17. So what do you give someone who not only has everything, but actually made everything? That's a tough question. Yet there had to be something I could give him that would bring a smile to his face and would bring him joy. There is something. I discovered it in a little book, in the little book of Micah. In his day, Micah wrote to a world facing huge problems. Wow, sound familiar? He not only pointed out the rampant sin, the rampant sin and hypocrisy among God's people, but also, in no uncertain terms, warned them of the judgment to come. Dropped into this sev severe message from God, however, Michael, Micah included a delightful passage. Although it is only three verses long, that's today's theme text, it tells us exactly what God wants from you and me in this new year. Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Micah 6.6. 6. Does God want a quantity of sacrifice? The answer is no. Will the Lord be pleased if thousands of rams with 10,000 rivers of oil? Verses 7. Does God want only a quality of sacrifice? Again, the answer is no. Shall I offer my firstborn for my transgressions, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? That's verse 7 again. Is God asking for me the ultimate sacrifice? The answer is no. What God desires to receive from us comes from a place that is very accessible, yet very personal, and has everything to do with our Hearts. Amen. The first part of this reading is written by Pramila Petaputi. What God Wants, Part 2, January the 4th. Scripture lesson is Luke 10, 27. It says, 
He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Luke 10, 27. It's so typical of us to offer big sacrifices to God. Lord, I'll do anything you want. You name your price. You want a missionary? I'm ready to go. You want me to be married or stay single? Just let me know. I'll be a preacher, a pastor, a deacon, or an elder. I'll pray every day and read my Bible. Whatever you want from me, that's what I'll do. I really mean it, Lord. Now, there's nothing wrong with these sentiments. They are good and noble and proper. God is pleased when we offer ourselves to him. So what's wrong with these offers? They deal only with the things we would do. But, dear friend, God wants your heart. You can be a missionary and still have a hard heart. You can be married or single and still have a rebellious heart. You can be very religious, yet far away from God. So what does God want from us this year? The answer is found in Micah 6, 8, which some consider to be the greatest verse in the Old Testament. This verse sums up what God really wants from you and me, from you and me. This verse, this is a verse we need to commit to memory, amen, write it on a card, and put it on our mirrors so we can read it every day. It says, He has shown you, O man of God, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. That's Micah 6, verse 8. What God wants from us every day is justice, mercy, and humility. These are matters of the heart. Jesus came to proclaim justice to the nations in Matthew 12, 18. Show mercy to them that fear him, Luke 1 and verse 50. And humble himself by dying on the cross, Philippians 2, 8. What he asks of us, he first gave us by establish, establishing justi, justice, showing mercy, and lifting up the humble. Amen. I pray that you and I are willing to give Jesus, are willing to give Jesus, give to Jesus from the heart. Amen. I'll read that again. I pray that you and I, me and you, are willing to give to Jesus from the heart. This is where the relationship begins. The Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Amen, family. Once again, these two readings for today, January 3rd and January 4th, What God Wants for the New Year, were written by Pramila Petapudi. Blessed day, family. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Thank you for your time and attention, and I pray that these words uh, from this reading will or have been an enrichment to your life. This is Miss Norma signing off. Uh, the readings are belated, but I wanted to share them nonetheless. So have a blessed day. Mm. I love you. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. And send those songs. We have a song list. Uh, it's in YouTube Music. And you can view it there. You can share it. You can use it. You can listen to it. It's titled songs 
four devotional readings, and it's the number four. So songs for devotional readings, uh, you can send a song to me by leaving it in the comments, or you can email me at nh2783.utb at gmail.com. You can also send your prayer requests if it's something that um, you want um, prayer for. You can let me know if I can announce it out to the YouTube family so that we can pray uh, collectively on it. But um, just send them in, send the songs, your prayer requests. And um, by the grace of God, I have been able so far to answer, I think, as of today, I think 100% of my comments. Uh, so leave me a comment, and uh, I'll see you real soon again on tomorrow by His grace. This is Miss Norma signing off. Mwah. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Amen. <laughs>